Okay, today we're going to do number eight of these tanagram puzzles. And this is the last one that gives us the shape as a guide. From here on in, from nine onwards, we're not going to have shapes to help us to start with. Okay, so this is the last of these easier, middle easy ones. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a butterfly. Let's see if we can find all these shapes. We have a red rectangle and a yellow rectangle. We have a semicircle. I don't think the color matters, but here's the blue one. Okay, we have a red triangle and a yellow triangle, the long ones. Then we have two diamonds, blue one and a green one. I might have had three diamonds with the yellow one. This always counts. And then we have one, two, three triangles. I'm going to use this blue one because I don't have a green one. Okay, red, yellow, and I'm going to swap the green for blue. Okay, let's see. Well, that's round. So I think this is going to go here. And then this one's a triangle. So that one I know. I can put that here. That's also a triangle. That's a funny shape. I don't have that shape. But what two shapes could I put together to make that shape? We'll think about it. And this is also a funny shape. I don't have that shape. But I'm going to need to put two shapes together to make that shape. So let's try this one. Now what shape goes there? This triangle. Okay. If I could use the diamond here, can I use the diamond there? No, see, can't fit the diamond in there. It's not a diamond. Maybe it's a triangle. Hmm. And a triangle. That was interesting. Suppose I could have shot, swapped these two triangles for a square if they hadn't given me the shapes as a guide. Now let's see what I have left. Two diamonds, one on either side, and then I have a square in the middle, but I don't have a square. But I learned before that two rectangles can make a square, because if you cut a square in half down the middle, it will make two rectangles. So all the stuff I learned earlier, I'm now using again to build these more complicated puzzles.